Soon many more years had passed and the thin and flat fat clergyman along with some explorers and of course Duke's Grace all came to see Sir Topham Hatt in his office one day. We want to find Duke, they said, and make him happy again. Maps lay everywhere. If we follow the old line as shown here on the map, and look, there's a part of the old station. If Duke's anywhere, he's there. They soon set off for the mountains far away. The search was getting hard, but the rescuers wouldn't give up. Let's go this way, they said. They kept searching and searching, but there was still no sign of Duke. Here somewhere, they all said. They scrambled over hills and went down valleys. At last, their search ended, but quite by accident. We found him! We found him, they cried. We found our sleeping beauty. Excuse me, inquired Duke. Are you a vandal? Driver told me that vandals break in and smash things. Bless you, no, laughed the rescuers. We dropped in because we couldn't find your door. Steward and Falcon will be very pleased to see you again. So they did remember, sighed Duke happily. And they all set off for Duke's new home. Duke was very surprised that they had found him after so many years had passed. But he was very looking forward to, to see Stuart and Falcon again for all those years ago that he had been with them on his railway. Stuart and Falcon arrived with a big welcome when they saw Duke. They were very excited and very happy to have seen him again after all these years. They couldn't believe their eyes. He's here, they whispered. Shh, shh. You woke me up, grumbled Duke. In my young days, engines were. Seen and not heard, Grandpuff, we know. We'll all be back to work again tomorrow, said Falcon. We're glad you've come back. We can keep you in order now. I can't believe they, they've actually found you, said Stuart. We're so, I'm so happy that we're all back together again. Keep me in order. Be off with you, impudent scallywags. But for the first time in years, Duke smiled as he dozed in the happy sun. He was glad that he had been found by the rescuers along with his new grace and the thin and fat clergyman. And now he is one of the m many engines that also works on the Scarlowe Railway. But we, we will also have, you know, some more to talk about Stuart and Falcon because they ended up getting their names changed. But that will be for next time. So that was the story of Duke the Lost Engine, said Edward, and now for later on, I will be telling you how they ended up doing on their very first days of on the Scarlowe Railway with Scarlowe. I can't wait to hear it, said Emily. I'm sure it's going to be very interesting to see what they end up doing on the Scarlowe Railway. I can't wait to hear about either, said Oliver. I'm very excited to know. Me too, said Stepney. Like I said, that will be for next time.
So I hope for now that you all enjoyed hearing about the story of Duke the Lost Engine. And pretty soon we will be... I, we will all be back again so I can tell you about how they ended up living their very first days on the Scarlowe Railway with Scarlowe himself. And this also happened too when Reneus was being mended. So Scarlowe was very happy to get the help. We will see you all next time now. Yeah, yeah.